Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, February 15, 2017. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. Well, we now know why AIG uh, entered into that big uh, reinsurance contract with National Indemnity Corporation, a Warren Buffett company. AIG reported a net loss of slightly over $3 billion, up from a net loss of uh, $1.8 billion for the same period in 2015. Uh, this was impacted by a $5.6 billion prior year adverse reserve development. Um, now, the deal that uh, AIG executed with NICO has uh, NICO picking up 80% uh, of that adverse development and also uh, provides some comfort to AIG going forward in that AIG's uh, reserves uh, are going to be capped and uh, are going to be only, AIG is only going to have to be paying out 20% of the losses above a certain cap. Peter Hancock said, uh, who's the AIG CEO, he said the uh, comprehensive reserve development cover with national indemnity significantly reduces the risk of further reserve additions in some of the most volatile lines. So from AIG's perspective, uh, they've capped this uh, adverse development reserve mainly for U.S. liability claims which has been a uh, very expensive book of business for AIG. Uh, AIG did note that they were able to reduce expenses uh, even uh, more significantly than predicted. They've uh, dropped them by 13.4% um, uh, down to $11 billion from the prior year. Uh, they also announced uh, over 10 transactions, which in the aggregate will generate about $10 billion of liquidity. And most recently, that uh, was included in 2016, was the United Guarantee Corporation sale to Arch Capital. So the numbers have uh, some very big uh, totals to them, but after you peel some of the layers away, it does seem as if AIG uh, has done a good deal with uh, national indemnity. Riots in Mexico in January over the price of uh, gasoline are expected to cost the international insurance market up to $250 million. Uh, the uh, protests occurred after a 20% increase in gas was put out by the Mexican government. Walmart is expected to submit a claim of about $70 million to the political risk market in London following the riots. Uh, the U.S. supermarket uh, Leviathan, Walmart, is set to tap insurers under a wide-ranging global political risk policy. Uh, the policies led by QBE, other carriers involved apparently include Talbot and Pembroke. It seems, according to reports, that uh, Stephen Catlin, the uh, founder of uh, Catlin Underwriting and now the deputy executive chairman of XL Catlin, as well as former UK trade minister Lord Davies, um, who in uh, uh, normal life is uh, also known as uh, Melvin Davies, um, are finalists to be named to succeed John Nelson as chairman of Lloyd's. Lloyds has uh, announced that Nelson is leaving at the end of March. So uh, these, excuse me, stepped down at the end of May. So uh, one of these two gentlemen apparently is going to be named to succeed him. The water level at the California Lake Oroville uh, Dam seems to be dropping. Authorities have said that the 200,000 people who have been evacuated can return to their homes, although they are warning that anybody with mobility problems should remain evacuated and stay in place. Translation, it's not entirely safe. Um, there is more rain in the forecast. Uh, the uh, water level has dropped about 20-some uh, feet over the past three days, uh, but it's still about uh, 37 feet above where officials want it to be, and there is more rain forecast today and tomorrow. In Texas, severe thunderstorms and snow ripped through the area, bringing uh, snow to places such as Amarillo. It also brought uh, heavy rain and thunderstorms to Houston, causing some 20,000 customers to be without electricity. In Saudi Arabia, in the Asir region of the country, in the western part by the Red Sea, at least one person was killed uh, in a flash flood. Some 280 people had to be rescued. Uh, there were heavy thunderstorms in Riyadh, the capital, in the central part of the country, and more rain is expected today. And 74-year-old Harrison Ford, the American actor, was nearly involved in a serious accident while piloting his private plane on Monday. Apparently, he uh, almost ran into an American Airlines plane with 116 people on board. 
Um, he uh, managed to just pass over the top of the commercial airliner. Uh, Ford has been involved in a number of crashes and near accidents over the years. He was credited, however, with saving lives by avoiding crashing his plane into a populated area in a 2015 crash when he managed to land on a Los Angeles golf course. We wonder who insures Mr. Ford. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.